Hello, welcome to another installment of uh, Apps Optimization with Incipia. Today we're going to be going through the Google Play Console and showing you what data points to look at, um, what areas of the Google Play Console that you want to be familiar with. So starting off, uh, we've got all of our apps under a particular developer name. You can click in one, into one to explore. Uh, just for a warning, this is an app that we haven't put much effort into optimizing, so the numbers look a little slim, but uh, we can still show you around uh, everything that you need to know. So first you'll see the um, app listing, so you can change your title, short description, full, your screenshots, uh, your feature graphic as well, and then you can publish right away. So if we make a change, unlike App Store, uh, you can submit that change to Google and have it live within a few hours. So that's very nice for optimizing for anything in your app listing. So uh, one thing that you really want to be familiar with is experiments. You should always be running an experiment in Google Play. Uh, it's free. It doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't harm anything. Um, if an experiment doesn't happen to be working well, you can stop the experiment and go back to the uh, performing variant. But uh, always be running an experiment in Google Play because it's, it's a great way to make incremental improvements. Two of the easiest experiments to run are the short description and full description. So, and one particular easy thing for the full description to do is test formatting and layout and spacing. And you can change the percentage of traffic that you're testing out with. 50% um, is the max, and so we're just going to do A, B, 50, 50, formatting, no formatting. So you can see that we already have formatting in our description, so we can actually test, um, in this case we're going to test no formatting, uh, but usually you would test uh, formatting as a new variant, or you could test uh, different white spacing or different symbols. Um, these are some of the easiest things to test. So we can test bullet points versus arrows, all that sort of stuff. So because we already have formatting, we're going to test the impact of no formatting and no symbols. And uh, you would be surprised at uh, how much of a difference these little changes can make, um, especially just by formatting sections and, and things like that. So there's a few things to do here. Uh, I'm not going to take the time to do them all, uh, but you would click Run, and now you'll have a live experiment running. So you can check back into the Experiments tab and see your statistics. So over time, Google will see how many installs uh, each variant is getting and what the retention rate is. So current installs is um, installs that you add each day minus the uninstalls. And then Google will tell you eventually which of these variants is going to perform the best up here. But sometimes it takes a long time and a lot of data. Um, and you'll be able to see a performance interval, which is like a negative to positive band for 90% cons. Sometimes you could see negative 5% to plus 3%. Um, unless it's mostly positive or you see a very high positive band and a very low negative band, um, it's probably not statistical, statistically significant, and so you'd want to cancel or try a new experiment. So experiments in one, one place that you really want to become familiarized with. Statistics is another one, and there are a couple statistics that we look at more often than others. Current installs by device is the default, and that shows you um, how many current users you have on your app at any particular day. You can change the time period. Um, and you can download the data to Excel as well. So current installs is basically your previous day's installs plus in new installs over the next day minus uninstalls. So those are a couple other places that we look at. Uh, what's our install volume per day? When we're doing optimizations, we want to see that the install volume is growing over time. But you also want to check uninstalls by user. You could be getting a lot more people, but if they're uninstalling at a rate higher than your daily install volume, there's a problem. So uninstall installs by user, uninstalls, and uh, current installs by user. Those are important important things to look at. And the difference between user and device is that you could have one user with multiple devices, 
and so your user data is going to be unique, but your device data is going to be um, total. So we usually like to look at data by user, because it could be somebody with a, an Android phone, an Android tablet, but it's the same person. User acquisition is another good place to look, and you'll be able to see here uh, your performance broken out by either channels, by default, or country. So if you're doing country analysis, you can see how your, your efforts are uh, producing fruit in each of the countries that you're optimizing for. So channel uh, will show you what your performance is for each channel. Place or organic is your ASO, or your App Store optimization efforts. Um, AdWords campaigns, if you're running one and you have it linked to your Play Store, uh, you'll be able to see your performance for your campaigns. And if you click into AdWords campaigns, you'll be able to see performance for each individual campaign. So you'll see the store visitors, uh, the installers, the buyers, and the conversion rates between each step in the funnel for each of your AdWords campaigns. Um, GoogleSearch.com, uh, third-party referrers like websites such as Facebook or Twitter, and here's anything that you're tracking with a UTM parameter. UTMs are very common across the Google suite of products. So you can change weeks, uh, you can change, look at a particular day, you can look at a particular month. Um, you just want to be looking at your user acquisition and seeing over time are the uh, number of store visitors, is that increasing? Uh, the number of installers and the conversion rate, again, between each step, that's what you're looking for to be improving over time. So let's just look at the full month of July and just see what our numbers were. It looks like we've got an unknown error. Let's refresh the page and see if we can fix that. All right. It looks like this error is going to persist. So basically, um, store visitors, the way that that's impacted is by your app's visibility. So if you add some more keywords in that people are likely going to be searching and finding your app from, if you get featured, if you um, increase the visibility, this is going to go up. And if you optimize your uh, screenshots, your title, your description, anything that gets people to install uh, once they're on your page, that's going to increase this conversion rate between visitors and installers. So that's going to be how you analyze your App Store optimization performance. And then your buyers is going to be anything you do in the app or if you fill the, the top of the funnel with the right users. So if you find a keyword that produces a lot of people that actually turn out to buy something, then this conversion rate is going to improve. Um, and if you improve your in-app purchase rate, then this number is going to improve too. And here's where you can analyze that. Uh, repeat buyers is similar to the buyers. If you get people to come back and purchase more, you see that here. So that's, uh, that's about it. That's the, the top places that you want to become familiarized in the Google Play Console. Um, so yeah, get out there, start experimenting, start optimizing your listing, and we'll see you soon. Thanks.